With birds that pluck, you wanna make sure you give them toys that the moment they touch it, it's so easy for them to get involved. Yucca. It's not yucca. One over maybe? Uh, one over would have just to aesthetically please me, if I you know what I mean. Figure. Flighters and hatchlings, my name is Marlene McCohen. Welcome to my channel. This is my best friend Tracy, and she's gonna help me today because I really do need help when I do these cage setups. But I forgot to introduce to you this is Jersey, she is my umbrella cockatoo. She literally went in there herself. I'm actually now considering moving our cage here because I think. What she's liking is the direct sun that's landing on her. Is that what's going on? We've done cage setups for my African Grey, for my Mustache Parakeet, and also for my Amazon Leo. All different types of birds. I'm doing these cage setups based off the personality of the bird. Of course, we're going a little bit into the type of bird, but all birds are different. There's many different types of toys. You're talking about wood, beads, plastic, paper, all different kinds of things that you could offer your bird. So it's just gonna be a matter of what your bird likes, but I am here to give you guys some suggestions. Don't forget to subscribe, check out the other cage setup videos just to see. All their cages are shaped differently, the birds have different personalities, and the birds are different sizes, so you might learn something new in each cage setup. Today we have a few obstacles with this cage, one being a perch that I cannot remove and I will need George for, so we'll do that later. I brought out all sorts of tools from the garage, things that aren't tools, all sorts of things that we, we didn't even know what we were doing, but we can not get this off so as you guys see here this is like a double perch it's unnecessary but it's gonna be removed as for the bottom of the cage I already put these at the bottom of the cages they're incontinence pads you can get them at CVS Amazon I have them on my Amazon store link if you guys want you could set them up on automatic delivery Tracy's about to bring in the toys which is also carrying Leo my Amazon right these are some toy options for you guys. So we've already set up the bottom of the cages. So if you wanna know some other things you could put at the bottom of your cage, just check out some other previous videos. So Jersey has an array of perches. Obviously you guys know I've emptied out the cage. The size of that perch is definitely probably at least an inch and a half and she seems pretty comfortable on it. This one's a little bit thinner of a perch. You'll notice that she plucks a bit, well, a little more than a bit. She's had this for a very, very long time. So today when we do it, we're gonna choose toys in mind that are good for pluckers. And um, I have lots of ideas and lots of things to offer you guys. And you'll see what Jersey like. She's a very chill bird actually. So the space in between the bars of the cage is an inch and a half. Main thing you wanna make sure when you choose a cage for your bird is the largest cage possible. But also the bar space is very important because you don't want them to be able to fit their head between the bars. You're such a good bird. You always want to have a perch close to the bowl. You always want there to be access to the bowls that you're going to be using. And always my birds like a perch up in the corner, perpendicular to the main perch where they like to sleep at night. This perch should give them enough space so that they don't have to bend their head or crouch down. You want to make sure that each perch doesn't cause droppings on another perch. Tracy is working right there holding the sidewinder. Let me tell you guys something really cool about the Sidewinder, and coincidentally, guys, it's yucca season. This right here is a very thin, easy to chew wood called yucca. The pieces in the middle are a stronger wood, but this right here, even your small birds, you could give this toy to something like a budgie, and a budgie could definitely get through this, or a cockatiel, this is a great toy for this. So why am I giving it to my bird jersey? Because she's obviously a cockatoo. Interestingly enough, she's not a very big cockatoo, although she is an umbrella cockatoo. She's pretty small for an umbrella cockatoo. With birds that pluck, you wanna make sure you give them toys that the moment they touch it, it's so easy for them to get involved. And with a real easy wood to chew like this yucca, it's not gonna take Jersey much time to get involved in it at all. Yucca, 
It's not yucca. It's not yucky. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. So here, Jersey can sit right here. She could play with it. Um, this is generally where she likes to sleep, so I think this is gonna work out well. What do we have next? Because this takes up a lot of space, maybe we should hang up this next. So Let's put it flat against the wall, like we did with- Here or um, against this one? Like in the inside, obviously. Oh, I kinda like that. You know what? Let's put this here, here, flat here, yeah. They just love this toy, and Caps and Ladders comes in the small version and the large version, both on my website. I love the large version just because if your bird already likes the Caps and Ladders, it, a bigger one just doesn't make a difference. Like, they love it no matter so, okay. what. Yeah, so check it out. This is here for Jersey. One over, maybe? Uh, one over would have just to aesthetically please me, if I you know what I mean. Figured. This right here, guys, is called seagrass. Seagrass is really good for birds that pluck because they can really just finally start pulling it apart like some of them do with their feathers. That's why I chose seagrass because seagrass has these fine little bits that you could pull apart, which a lot of birds that pluck love, but also it's a great foraging toy and foraging is really important for birds that pluck. So next, we have this toy. This is special for Jersey because it has charms on it. It is called Charmed, actually. These kind of toys are her favorite. Now, first and foremost, you guys might say, wow, this looks like a little bird toy, but this is actually pretty large. Look at it compared to my head. It's on a chain, so it's not something that she's gonna break in two seconds. These pieces are, but she enjoys them so much. She is like a smaller bird's personality and a big, bigger bird's body, so this is something that um, I have put also in the large boxes just for that reason too. So I know a lot of you have multiple birds. So that is a toy that I think that actually is a good spot, Tracy, because she can sit there. The but you know what? The Let's do this because this is not going to be against a wall. Let's hang it across corner. I like to put toys cross corner when I'm worried about it sliding around too much because I don't want an earthquake. We are tracking some breaking news just into the Fox 4 newsroom. A 4.2 magnitude earthquake struck in California. Is everybody okay? You okay, baby? What happened? What happened? So like here, for example, because the toys cross corner, it can't go too far. I always find that to be a little bit safer than being able to just kind of go as far as it wants. Yes, this is called Curly Q. I have never given Curly Q to Jersey, but it looks fun and she loves the intricacy of things. So you see, this is something that I just know Jersey would really enjoy playing with. As you guys will see, one interesting thing about Jersey, and this is a good piece of information for you guys is, that she is, again, a pretty big bird, but that's into smaller bird toys. That's why I'm a big fan of smaller bird type toys on stronger chains. This is what it's looking like so far. Another toy that I'm gonna be putting in the cage today is actually quite an underrated toy. I love this toy for Jersey. This is called Mardi Gras. Let me explain to you what Mardi Gras is and what it's made out of. Okay, first of all, this is 100% cotton. Sometimes you wanna be careful with string. It depends on knowing your bird. I might not recommend this for smaller birds or birds that could get tangled and things. Do not give this to a budgie. The budgies tend to get their nails tangled and things. But for Jersey, this is gonna be okay. For those of you worried about cloth impaction, which is a very valid worry, this is 100% cotton. That's what you always wanna make sure but if you feel like your bird is chewing or swallowing things, don't, don't go for this. I'm using this as an example of a toy that I know is okay for Jersey. Inside this is these wood pieces and that's making these little candies. Jersey loves this paper, loves this string. This is really good because she does like to pluck. It's these little fine pieces of the feather that she likes to chew up, so this is a really good toy. She also likes these beads. So we're gonna get this in the cage. Any toys that you have like that, that you do feel like your bird likes and is not using incorrectly, always do a checkup on those toys every day. If you ever think something's come apart or it's knotted, just take it out. One thing you could do with a toy like this, if you know your bird likes it or you think it's beneficial to your bird in any way, is to put it on a play stand or somewhere where you're only 
dealing with the toy under supervision. So that manner, maybe don't put it in the cage at all, but in this case, I know this is something okay for Jersey. Yeah, that's a fun place for it. I like that too because, you know, she still has a lot of balance right there. This is the hand roll. You guys have seen it before. Great toy for pluckers. Amazing. It's also a great toy for foraging. You could hide these almonds within the toy. You can hide them from the top, but what's great about this seagrass is you can hide them within. So it creates great foraging. I love the nuts to be shelled because it helps them kind of trim down their beak and it in itself is kind of like foraging. It keeps them busy, keeps them working. So I love this. If your bird is a plucker, this is a great toy. Tracy's gonna hang it up. You wanna hang it here? Uh, now remember, oh, what no, is the rule baby. about that? So yeah, I don't know if we went over it in this video, but you never want to hang anything above the food bowl where pieces are going to drop into the food or the water. I like this last corner right here. Look at our cage setup. It's looking really exciting. Now when she's on this perch, nothing's reaching far down. But that's okay because then we'll have her focus on her food. Here's another great toy for foraging. It's called Cheers. Can hold nuts, all sorts of different things that you want your bird to find. It's a lot of fun, so you can just hide things in there. I love it. It's these little mugs. We had it in our New Year's box, basically like cheering to New Year's. So that I'm gonna put right over here on this side corner. And then we'll also hide some things in there, maybe some different kinds of nuts for the bird. There you go. So it's just little things for them to find and play with and get them going and playing with things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven toys in this cage. We have a mix between the bells and the beads, the natural seagrass. We have the wood toy, uh, some foraging toys, one, two and some toys that I would recommend for pluckers, one, two. Okay, there's Jersey in the cage. She's just chilling. That is Jersey's cage set up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to know what I'm not covering that you guys would like to know. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank Tracy as well for helping me out to make these videos and bring them to you guys. I always thought like, oh my God, I need to wait till I have George, but I have amazing friends that just what? come. George? And don't forget guys, if you like anything that you've seen in this video, it's available on my website, parrotstation.com. We are working to build a better future for birds. Help me with my dream of one day building a sanctuary sustained by a brand. Check out this Pick Me Marlene submission. I love this so much. Enjoy, bye. I am outside of the perfect parrot. You wanna come home with me? We can cuddle. I'm totally ready to cuddle with you. Do you wanna cuddle? Oh my God. This is a very gentle bird. Though. I usually only let men that take me out to dinner do that, honey.